This video is part of a series in teaching you how to use BigML, the machine learning platform for everyone. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about logistic regression. A logistic regression is a supervised machine learning method used to solve classification problems. A classification problem means identifying which set of categories a new observation belongs to based on some training data set with instances of known categories. For every class of the objective field, logistic regression computes a probability modeled as a logistic function value whose argument is a linear combination of the field values. It helps us predict a value that's not a continuous number like my hair length, never ending, but instead a binomial outcome like whether Half-Life 3 will or won't be released. For this example, we're gonna use the US 2016 primary results dataset. To create a logistic regression, we can use the one-click option from our dataset detail view and just click one-click re logistic regression. We can also use the option from the pop-up menu. Once we have our logistic regression, we can view it in one of two different ways. The default view is the logistic regression chart. Just click on the icon in the top left corner of the logistic regression top bar menu to see the table that contains all the coefficients for each field in our dataset. The chart provides a visual way to analyze how the field selected for our x-axis makes an impact on our predictions, given certain values for the rest of the input fields. All the predicted classes are represented by individual color lines in the chart area. We can see that the geography of a county has a big impact on which party wins it. A flat horizontal line parallel to the x-axis means that the field has no influence at all on that class prediction, but a line with either a positive or negative slope means that there is a positive or negative correlation between the field and the predicted class. When we configure different values for extra input fields, we'll see that the influence of the selected field on predictions changes in real time. The y-axis shows objective field class probabilities. We can only select numeric fields for the x-axis. In the objective field legend, classes are represented in the chart along with their corresponding colors. Other field values are found below the chart legend. After we configure input fields, we can set them to their original values by clicking the reset icon if we'd like. We can export our chart in PNG format with or without legends. Oh, and there's also a second version of the chart that lets us control both x and y axis variables to produce a heat map. The main goal of logistic regression is to learn the coefficients of the logistic function for each of our dataset fields. It's like a detective, a math detective. Yeah. Different sets of coefficients are associated with each class of the objective field. Objective field classes are in the columns and the rows are the input fields for the logistic regression as well as the bias. The table view provides all the coefficients for each of our fields. For numeric fields, there is one coefficient per field. For categorical fields, well, we'll get one coefficient per class and an additional one for missing values per field. For text fields, we'll get one coefficient per term and the additional one for missing values per field. And for item fields, we'll get one coefficient per item and an additional one for missing values per field. Coefficients for missing values are always found at the end of the table. We can search to filter the column by field name, class, term, or item using the search box at the top of the table. We can also export the table in a CSV file. Let's talk a bit more about the logistic regression method itself. LR computes a probability for each class of the objective field using a logistic function whose argument is a linear combination of the field values. It works better in where the features are roughly linear and the problem can be linearly solved. The formula for LR is standard, one over one plus e to the negative f of x, where f is our function. Math is power. P is our dependent variable and it's the probability for each of the classes of the objective field. The logistic regression tries to learn the coefficients using a method called maximum likelihood estimation. To go over some of what we've learned, a logistic regression is a supervised machine learning method used to solve classification problems. You can create one with one click in the dashboard, and it computes the probability for each class of the objective field using a logistic function whose argument is a linear combination of the field values. For more info, check out the links in the description, and please subscribe for more BigML videos. For now, I've got to click on a new data set, so thanks for watching.